Hey guys, welcome to Traditional Bow Hunting Wilderness Podcast. This is Jason Samkoviak. Today we're going to talk about this rack right here. Rock solid, super durable, one of the best rack systems you could ever have or baskets you could ever make for your four-wheeler. Sorry, I know you're hearing the dog bark and he's next door over there and uh, he goes crazy sometimes. Um, but uh, this system is pretty flawless. How this works, how it mounts, it's a pretty simple concept that I've come up with. Uh, after researching things out there, you can see that I have, I'm using this right now for my bear baits. I got two five gallon buckets. I can fit three five gallon buckets in there. I can fit a ton of stuff on there. There's bowl holders built into this. As you can see, I got straps put on there everywhere that can run. Uh, bungee cord straps, uh, the, and it's removable very fast and easy. These are real thick zip ties, which I'll bring you in. on it. I got a whole new basket over here I'll show you that I put on the front of this for details. But it just very simply mounts in, in zip ties right to this frame of this rack. And like I said, as you can see, that is as durable as they come. I could lift the whole quad up by that, and it's not going anywhere. And you'll notice that it's really unique that they're they're individual baskets, but they're actually locked together. I'm going to bring you in right now, show you the close-up of these and how they work and the details of a, of a nice clean one that I have that goes on the front. I run one system on the back, and when I'm trapping, I don't have the time to trap too much anymore. But when I used to trap, I had this one on the back, and then I had another identical one that mounts on the front rack. And I would run both of those so I could have all my traps, all my buckets, all my lures, everything right there. Have a place to put the furs I collected it. Great system. So if you have a quad and you're looking to do something like this, this might be the way to go for you. I'm going to uh, re I'm gonna take you off the tripod. And I'm going to show you the details of this thing up close on my other one. So I'll be right back there with you. Okay, here it is. As you can see it, there it is right now. Now, the beauty of this, what I did is I bought three milk, milk crates, very affordable. I think I got them at Ace Hardware, and I want to say they cost me about six bucks a piece. They were nothing expensive. And I used quarter 20 bolts and washers right here that you can see. And I bolted three of them together. So now, or, so I have them bolted, you know, all four corners here, all four corners there. And that makes this whole thing one total rigid, strong you know, self-contained unit, one one whole piece as a whole basket all on its own, not a, uh, you know, it's, they're not individual anymore. They're built and they're rock solid. And then you can see these uh, tie-down straps that I use on here. These are releasable, so I can hit that lever on there and actually release these so they're removable. I can put them on and take them off. Uh, I think I got those. I don't know where I got those at, but they're not expensive either. I think you can get a bag of 25 of them for like 12 or 15 bucks um, at a lot of places, but they're they're just a thick, big, as you can see the size, industrial strength, uh, releasable zip tie, and they come in like a, a two foot or three foot length. I just cut them, but like I said, then I can take that and I can wire it and wrap it right around my rack on the front of my quad, just like I did here. You can see them mounted on here. They just wrap right around, real simple, real easy. When I wanna release that, all I gotta do is come up here, grab this, pinch it, and pull it down. It takes me about, I don't know, maybe three minutes uh, to take this rack on and off. And like I said, rock solid and durable. Now, what is nice about it, you can see I have buckets in there. I can also lay my stands right on top of there and then put a strap right across here, right over the stand on the other side and hold it and have my stand sitting on there. I can put my jet sled full of gear on top of there. Uh, you can see these little clamps on here that kind of look funny right here like this. One on each side. You can also see them on this one down here that goes on the front. Uh, you can see that I have them on there. That's washing or wash machine hose that I actually just cut and put over a simple little, uh, you know, just a simple red clamp. That's all it is, just a clamp with a hose on there. Now what that does is that allows me to put my bow on there. So if I have this on the front, I can lay my bow riser right here with my limbs inside of those clamps and let the string come back here and just put a strap right over top of it uh, with a bungee cord. And it holds my bow. Same with the one on the back. You can see where I could lay my bow right between those two clamps right there. Lay my string there. Put a strap right over top of it and have my bow on there. So it uh, makes it real simple and easy. I can also put a shovel on there. You can put a broom on there. Uh, kind of same concept as, you know, taking this scrub brush. But you can see how that fits right in there like that and just kind of sets right in there and uh and then you put a strap over it and it holds anything you need so it's just a brilliant little setup and it's rock solid and strong it doesn't come off or go anywhere those clamps are pressing hard on there uh so i've never had it be an issue with any of them coming off i've carried axes all kinds of things on there so just a very simple 
powerful, very cheap and affordable way to be able to get uh, get a lot out of your quad rack instead of having to spend hundreds of dollars on a compartmentized one uh, that doesn't work to do what you want it to do or special bucket adapters or things like that uh, or even worse building one out of the out of wood that weighs you know 50 pounds that you're going to have on there and it's going to rot out in two years just a sweet simple fully functional easy to do takes about 10 minutes to make it by the three crates line them next to each other drill a hole run some quarter 20 bolts and nuts through there to lock them together and um if you don't want to come up with the zip ties to put them on there uh just use a ratchet strap like i did on my front one here this is the one i, I run a lot of the time on there now just for a single uh but just right now while i'm bear baiting because it's easy but um normally i don't have one on the front all the time so i just threw that one on as quick and simple as an extra but you can see that it's any way you can attach it's going to be pretty easy and work good for me those straps are the best they work awesome and like i said rock solid that is not going any place held on there well that that's this basket setup that you see on here with the straps has been on this one basically for the last uh well it's a 2010 quad uh we're 2018 so it's been on there for eight years that setup's been there this one was on it all the time for about five years and now recently i like i said it's for the last few years it's been sitting up in my attic uh but now that i'm gonna be uh, getting into, you know, I'm running the bear baits and all that stuff. I was going to mount it up, take that one off and put it on the front. So I have places to put the stands and some more of my stuff to carry out there as I'm running these bear baits. But it just goes to show you very simple, very easy, very, very functional rack. That's the beauty of it. Nothing that I've seen out there has even remotely as much function as you get out of this simple design. So, uh, and it looks nice and clean on the quad and it fits on there. Perfect. And, uh, works like a champ. So hope you enjoyed this. Hope it's a benefit for you and we'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.